Welcome to the TMC video series. In this video, we will explore the basic use and operations of the workflows and approvals in Microsoft NAV 2017. As a reminder from the previous video, there are three basic components in the workflow steps. The when event, which is called under specified conditions, and then a detailed response to the event. We will look at each component in this example. While it might be possible to run an approval for every and all activity, it would not be practical. By their nature, certain tasks and activities need an approval process, while others will not. With NAV 2017, you have the flexibility to create and enable only those workflows that add value and reduce risks, while streamlining other processes. Those certain tasks and activities are the focus of the workflows. We need to enter a new vendor invoice. To begin, we can click on the vendors link in the shortcuts of the role center of NAV 2017. This brings up a list of all the vendors in Cronus USA. We can use the search function to find the required vendor, Service Electronics Limited. Next, click on the link to purchase invoice in the action bar. Clicking on the link next to the vendor number, we're taken to the vendor card. From here, we can select a new document, a purchase invoice. Here, we can enter the details about the vendor's invoice. We can use the incoming document function to attach a scanned image of the vendor's invoice. Find the invoice and click Open. You can also use the Dynamics NAV OCR function if you subscribe to the service. Here's the image of the vendor's invoice. Not every transaction of a specific type may need to be approved, but condition filters allow for only a specified set of transactions to go through approval. With the details entered and the image attached, the purchase invoice can now be submitted into the workflow for approval. The user gets a message to let them know the approval process has begun. The user can also follow the progress of the document using the approvals link in the action bar. The list will show the status of approvals that the user is involved in. The status is set to open and then to pending approval by the workflow. For every action, there's a specified response. If an approval is needed, place a restriction on the transaction and alert the approver via email. If the transaction is approved, alert the originator and remove the restriction. The approver, in the meantime, receives an email informing them about the approval request. These updates will include status changes on existing workflows, a new email arrives with the new approval request. The hyperlinks in the email allow the approver to see details about the transaction, pulling the data directly from Dynamics NAV 2017. This is an expanded view of that email details, again, pulling the data directly from NAV 2017. The email also provides the approver the tools needed to act upon the request and process the document. The link to the document number itself will open the NAV 2017 client focused on the document referenced in the email. From the NAV client, the approver has full access to the tools, controls, and links contained within NAV 2017. Once the approver has approved the document, the approved controls in the action bar become grayed out. Our originator, Spencer, can always return to his view of the process and check on the status. Here, he can see that his new invoice has been approved. If, this, then, the three basic steps of a workflow in NAV 2017. In this video, we've seen an illustration of using NAV for a purchase invoice workflow process, but NAV 2017 provides out-of-the-box workflow templates for the majority of the processes covered in the system. Thanks for watching and join us for our next video.